career. I've always loved a quote from the existential philosopher Soren Kierkegaard, quote, to risk is to lose your footing momentarily. To not risk is to lose yourself. As Adele Sheely reminded us at the beginning of this chapter, you can never get to the big risks unless you start with small ones. As I developed through my later childhood and adulthood years, I knew none of this. But looking back and connecting the dots of my life, I do see a pattern of risks that reflects Sheely's model. In my life, there have been many small risks and several career and huge life-enhancing ones. Here are four of the small risks that stand out in memory. Hitchhiking by airplane. I took a small but real risk in 1968 when I hitchhiked across four states by airplane with pilots I'd never met and whose skills I did not know. Another risk I took was sort of fun. In, uh, in 1968, I had gone to Europe to be at a friend's wedding. And I'm coming back through New York. Now, I had heard about this thing where you can do drive a car thing. You, know, you don't rent a car, but somebody has to have their car move from one city to another. So I got in on that, and the city was uh, Austin, Texas. That's where we're going to go. And I'd never been through the South, so I decided, <laughs> 1968, long hair, and my license plate says New York. And I'm driving down through Georgia, uh, Louisiana, uh, you know, Mississippi, and I'll tell you, it was really interesting because I would go through these small towns, and I'd look in the rearview mirror, and boom, there's a sheriff right behind me. Every move I made, the sheriff's right there. And I was the safest driver you have ever seen in this world. It reminded me of when I used to smoke marijuana in college, and we'd go out for a burger, and I'm driving 10 miles an hour. <laughs> no, officer, no, everything's fine. Well, anyway, so I finally, finally got to Austin, Texas, and turned over the car. Then I had to get back to San Francisco. Now, I had read an article in Esquire magazine about a year earlier about how you can hitchhike by airplane. Hmm, that sounds interesting. So I tried it, as they described it uh, in the magazine. And what they said is, you go to small airports, you know, like our San Carlos airport, and you go to where pilots register their flight plan, and you have a little suitcase, and you look nice, and you go up to the pilots, and you say, would you like a passenger? It worked fabulously well. I mean, to this day, I mean, if I, you know, if I didn't need a nice soft bed and my same pillow every night, I'd probably do it again. But so my first ride was with a twin-engine Beechcraft, beautiful plane, eight-seater, fabulous, and it got me all the way to Albuquerque. Then my second plane was this, uh, uh, this Bonanza. They're really nice, smaller planes, four-seater. Uh, and so I'm sitting in the back. It's a husband and wife, and the husband's flying away. And, and, and what I didn't know when I got in the plane is that this husband was a retired um, airlines pilot. And so he thought his job was to fly right into the storm so he could register back what was going on. And we're going like this, you know. And I'm thinking, Jesus, are we okay? <laughs> and I'm looking at his wife, who's sitting here. She's, she's knitting. I said, okay, I guess if she's knitting, we're going to be okay. <laughs> but it was a great ride. And then, and then I, I, I went, got a ride. And this was in an old beat-up uh, Piper Cub. And it was... Uh, four-seater, and, and they had a one guy who was trying to get hours in for his license to keep his license current, and a more senior pilot, and then a friend of theirs in the back, and I'm sitting in the fourth chair. And I'm thinking, well, I wonder if this thing's going to take off. Are we going to be okay? We start off down the runway, and finally we're airborne, and after about five minutes into this thing, we must have been at 1,000 feet or 1,500 feet, I hear this noise. God, the pilot opens the door and pulls in a weather stripping, goddamn weather stripping, and off we go. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I took a commercial flight from LA back to San Francisco. <laughs> but I thought that was really cool, you know, hitchhiking by airplane. I, uh, I would recommend it.